Welcome crafters, follow along with me today as I make this wrapped yarn and ribbon wreath. I picked up this wire wreath from the Dollar Tree and also have some chunky yarn and some ribbon we got from Hobby Lobby. So you're going to go ahead and wrap your yarn over the wire wreath and kind of tuck it in on the back and then you're going to wrap four times. And then once you've done that, we're going to kind of push those together, tighten them up a little bit, make sure they're nice and snug. And then we're going to get our ribbon and we're going to lay that over the top. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the end here because it's a little frayed. And then we're going to go ahead and lay that right over the top of the yarn. And then you're going to wrap your yarn two more times, just like so. And again, you're going to want to make it a little snug, push it together. And this time you're going to pull back your ribbon and you're going to wrap your yarn again four times and push your yarn together make it nice and snug and then put your ribbon over the top of that and then we'll go ahead and wrap two more times around the ribbon and it's basically the same process all the way around the wreath so you're going to wrap twice over, fold your ribbon back, wrap four times underneath, lay your ribbon over, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video and make my way around the wreath. And then when I run out of yarn, I'll show you what I do next. I have run out of yarn so I'm gonna go ahead and t turn it over take this little piece and kind of tuck it in as far as I can and it's pretty forgiving so just tuck it in you should be good like that we'll grab another ball of yarn and then we will tuck that in on the front and flip it over and just like so and then we'll start wrapping again And as you can see, I have run out of yarn yet again. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and tuck that little piece right in there as far as it can go. I'm gonna grab another little bit of yarn and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it and tuck it in on the back side there. And we're gonna continue to wrap until we've made it all the way around. So here we're gonna wrap four times. We're gonna tighten it up a little bit, push it together so it's nice and snug. Uh, ribbon over the top and then we'll wrap it two more times. And this will also be used as the top of our wreaths to apply some other goodies to. Flip it over on the back side. We're gonna cut it now with a pair of scissors. And I'm gonna tuck that in on the back, like so. You can use glue if you choose. I just like to tuck it in. It's a little bit quicker and a lot less messy. Okay, so now we've got our whole wreath together. I'm gonna to add some berries to the top and I'm just tucking those in underneath the underneath the yarn and we've gone ahead and added a ribbon and we're done so i hope you all enjoyed this project and we will see you in the next one